Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord this morning. You know, the Lord is good and he is greatly to be praised. Amen. What a friend, what a friend, what a friend. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, um, those of you who join us on the replay. Amen. Amen. Good morning, um, Periscope. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to those of you also who join us this morning and then who join us on the replay. Good morning to, let's see if we can get this color right. Amen. That's right. <laughs> Amen. Good morning to Instagram. And those of you who've joined us on the replay, good morning. Good morning to Ustream and those of you who join us on the replay. I'm Dominique Baptiste and our program is called Biblical Essentials. Amen. Amen. Get this to lay down right. Good morning. Amen. It says, hang on. We're telling your followers to join your video. Thank you, Instagram. Good morning, Facebook. What a blessing. Good morning. Well, you know, guys, the Lord is good and he is greatly to be praised. Amen. Amen. I hope you guys had a very good evening. Last evening we did. Thankful to God for every good and perfect gift, for his bountiful blessings, amen, for his amazing grace, for his wondrous favor, amen, amen. We've been talking about walking in the spirit, praise God, amen, oh, my voice is low, okay, <laughs> amen, we've been talking about walking in the spirit so that we do not fulfill the lust of the flesh, wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly Wednesday. Amen. Welcome everybody to Wholeheartedly Wednesday. I love it. But we're we gonna we gonna keep this one as walking in the spirit Wednesday. Praise God. Praise God. We are walking in the spirit. How to effectively walk in the spirit. Amen. One, we want to walk in the spirit for a few reasons. One, we don't want to fulfill the lust of the flesh. Amen. Two, amen. We want to walk in the spirit. Amen. So that we can walk with God continually. Amen. Walking with the Lord continually. Amen. And then we want to walk in the spirit so that we can be effective in ministry. Effective in work, effective in reaching the lives of others, effective in touching the hearts and watching God do something amazing. Amen. In the lives of others through us. Praise God, being 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 an effective minister is important. You know, I see we see a lot of ministers, especially in um in the spirit in the Christian education realm, where people come to Bible school and then they send you a link to them ministering, or they at the time they used to send you send you a um to send you a tape so you can hear them. And oh, I, I'm I'm a good preacher, you know, and you hear it, and granted they are sometimes and granted they are most of the time most of the, i would say 90 percent of the ministers i've ever heard in life maybe a little more are good ministers amen they're good preachers um but then you have to listen for substance and content amen let's listen to here you know even if they don't quote scripture are they sh even if they don't give you scripture references are they quoting the word are they giving you the word of God? Amen. It's like, have they taken it and chewed it and now giving it back to you all mixed up in, in, in word salad? And, you know, sometimes you don't hear that, and, you know, and that's where um, it definitely pays. Praise God. You can tell when the person is walking in the spirit because they give you back word salad, even if it isn't, you know, book chapter verse this and book chapter verse that and book chapter verse this. But you get the content. Amen. Of the scripture, then you know that that's a blessing back. But you know we have to consider that walking in the spirit, amen, is a partially word, amen. It is the Holy Ghost, amen, and then it's a reflection of our connection to the Lord. And when it comes back as ministering to people, amen, ministering to others, ministering to the body of Christ, it comes back more effectively. That's when you hear, amen, as ministers and as men and women of God, that's when you hear people, how did you know that? 
That's exactly what's going on in my life right now. How did you know that? I just don't understand, you know, and the thing is that how did you know that is when the Holy Spirit is talking to you, amen, and then talking to them, even if we don't recognize it, even if we don't see that, wow, man, you know, you, 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 you can't, you may can't say, boy, I felt the power. Ooh, hallelujah, it was falling on me. Maybe you don't feel that. Maybe you didn't say that. You don't see that. But what happens with the other person is they hear nothing but God talking right in their ear. Amen. They've come to the mailbox and it's all their mail. They've got, amen. They come to the, to the fountain and the Kool-Aid's their favorite flavor. Praise God. Because, amen, that's a reflection of walking in the spirit. Praise God this morning. I love names that people give themselves online. I do. Amen. The prayer tent, um, it is with you. Amen. I love to hear, um, if you guys, Kurt, that's your name. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, JC is Lord of me. I hope JC is Jesus. <laughs> Amen. I think that's awesome. I love to see the names that people um, choose for their monikers online. I think it all tells a lot about them, a lot about their walk with Christ. Amen. Amen. Their ministries. Amen. Mine is Biblical ETV. Or biblical essentials practically everywhere. Praise God. Amen. And um yes, okay. Yeah, Jesus Christ is it Jesus Christ is Lord of me. That's a cool name. You know? So and then there are a couple over here I can't describe. So hmm. all right, let's get in this word. Praise God. Amen. Thank you for sharing today. Amen. I encourage you to share this message. Praise the Lord. Hmm. <clears throat> Amen. Today I said we were going to talk about why confession is a necessity for walking in the spirit. You know, we talk about walking in the spirit. Like I said earlier, it really is important to our Christian life, to our daily walk. Amen. It's a necessity because in order to walk in the spirit, we must, amen, we must, amen, to walk in the Holy Spirit, to walk in the presence of God, amen, we must be saved. We must have received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, amen. Look at Romans 10, 9 and 10. Lord bless them this morning. Amen, I'll just go to 9. Amen. It says, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, then you shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Amen. I love verse 11. It says, for whosoever, whosoever, y'all know we are, we are team whosoever. Amen. That means I'm not Jewish and I'm not a converted Gentile. <laughs> and I'm from the, the 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 lineage, amen, of so many blends probably that um I'm on team whosoever. I'm just one of those out there that heard the gospel, received Jesus, amen, and decided to run on to see what the end's gonna be. Amen. But I already know. I'm gonna be translating, go to glory, just like all of you, right? Amen. If you're not saved today, this is how you get saved. Praise God. Amen. So it says, if, and then this next verse says, it says, for whosoever for believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Amen. When you are believing God, when you are standing on his word, when he's talking to you, that means that you, he's not going to let you be ashamed. He's not going to let you be embarrassed. He's not going to not, he's not going to drop the ball on you. Amen. When you get to glory, you're not going to get to glory and find out there's somebody else behind the gate. Amen. When we get to glory, we're going to see Jesus. Says, I believe Jesus. I believe that God's a healer. Amen. And I, and I believe that God's a deliverer. I believe that God is a life changer. I believe that God is going to set this household straight. Amen. I believe that God is going to provide our food. Amen. According to his word, I believe that God is going to lead us to jobs and better jobs. Amen. Greater resources and greater finances. Amen. He's going to give us favor in high places. He's going to give us seats. Praise the Lord that only he can give. Only he can give whatever you're believing God for. When you begin to believe him according to his word and confess it according to his word, guess what? He says, 
I will not let you be ashamed. Now, if he tells you change and you don't change, then you're responsible for that. But if he tells you this is it, stand on this word, I got you, you will not be ashamed. He will not let you, his, his word Amen. Will not fall to the ground, but his word will bear, will go in the ground as good seed, bear roots downward and fruit, the fruit of your confession, the fruit of his word back up at you and in your life and for you. You know, if we are going to um, <clears throat> necessity, I would say of confession. Amen. Also shows that it is, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, one second, I'm sorry, but, okay, praise God, the necessity of confession in our lives, amen, <clears throat> Is that it is a test, it's a reflection of our faith. I, my notes say test, but I know that I've changed that. It's a reflection of our faith. Look at 1 John chapter 2 and verse 23. It says, Whosoever denieth the Son, the same hath no father, but he that acknowledged the Son hath the Father also. Now, this scripture was a challenge when I taught it in a, um, and I think one of the, one of the classes and someone said, well, that second part, but he that acknowledges the son hath a father also said that that was in italics and people challenged the italics, right? But Jesus said, if you believe in me, if you confess me before my father, he said, then will I, conf if you confess me publicly, he said, then will I confess you before my father? Amen. So this I won't say it's stating the obvious, but it is definitely backed up by scripture that came directly for Christ, from Christ. That the power of our confession, amen, and walking in the spirit of God, amen, has to do with the fact that when we're walking in the spirit, he says we won't be, we won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, which means we will fulfill the lust, of, the passions, the desire of the spirit, the command of the spirit. It also says this, it says, you know, because when it says, if you won't do this, then and obviously you will do this praise God so now so we know that walking in the spirit we will fulfill the purpose of God in our lives in addition to that we won't be ashamed amen and when we acknowledge the father amen and we acknowledge the, then you know when we acknowledge the son we acknowledge the father and at the same time by acknowledging him he acknowledges us so now we walk in the spirit we fulfill the purposes of God. Amen. We won't be put to shame. And the Father acknowledges us. It only gets better. <laughs> All right. Let's go over to, um, it is evidence of our spiritual walk and relationship with God. And we're going to stay, let's see. Yeah, we're going to stay here in 1 John, and we're going to go over to verse number 4 and verse 15. I just feel like running some scriptures today. Is that all right? Amen. Chapter 4, 1 John chapter 4 and verse 15. <laughs> Amen. Let's start at verse 14 and take it through 16. These are good scriptures. Praise God. This is a good word this morning. This is encouraging word. Amen. I want, I want, I feel in the spirit that someone out there needs to hear this. Amen, because you're standing and you're believing on God's word for something to happen in your life. And I'm telling you today, don't stop believing. Don't stop standing. Don't stop trusting. Amen. Keep believing. God said you will not be put to shame. Amen. Keep believing. Keep standing. Keep trusting. Amen. Verse um, 1 John 4 and 14, and we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent the Son to be the Savior of the world. Whosoever shall confess that Jesus is the Son of God, God dwells in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed that the love of God hath a, has us. 
and God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God dwells in him. Now we know that if we walk in the Spirit, amen, we fulfill the purpose of that God has for us. Amen. Um, what's number three? Amen. We won't be made ashamed. Praise God. Amen. And then finally, we have favor with the Father. The Father has favor with us. And it says now we'll be filled in love. Amen. And then that love is the love of God, meaning we'll be filled with the love of God. And that's all in walking in the Spirit. That's the power, amen, of walking in the Spirit. That's this reflection of walking in the spirit of God. Amen. Through and and you and recognizing the importance of the power of confession. Amen. Speak the word and watch it come to pass. Praise God. Speak the word and watch it come to pass. Amen. Live the word. Amen. And then watch God move through you. It's powerful. God is an awesome. God is an awesome God. Yes, He is. Okay. Um, <clears throat> let's go over to Matthew, chapter ten, verse thirty-two. I know you guys are gonna love this word. Matthew ten and thirty-two. All right. I knew I had this scripture on my list. Amen. 10 and 32. It says, for whosoever. (laughs) What team whosoever? (laughs) Amen. Therefore shall confess me before men. Him will I confess before my Father who is in heaven. So he promises that that he's going to, amen, bring us, that the Father is going to accept us. Now he says this. He says, Jesus says, I'm going to speak up for you. I'm going to represent you. I'm going to do the introduction. Guys, I'm a part of a group of ladies, and they're they're precious. I love them. But um, it's always important, for whatever reason, to one person in the group to to tell us who introduced whom into the group. Now, I think the group probably started off with three people, and the group has now significantly grown. It's about 30 of us, but whenever we I meet a new person, and um, this sister introduces us to him, yeah, she was introduced into the group by this person. So I know that she wants us to know that, so it kind of gives that person credibility with us really quickly. I mean, it's a, it's a business mentoring group. And so it says that it's like she was vetted by this person. So when we think about being introduced to the Father, introduced into the kingdom of glory, introduced into the kingdom of God, honey, there is nothing like Jesus himself coming in and introducing us. Amen. Standing by us says they're in here on the strength of my word. They're here on the strength of my sacrifice. They're here on the strength, and and I vetted them, which means that they one of mine. You know, she's one of mine. He's one of mine. You're one of his. Amen. <laughs> that is powerful to be in the very presence of God and of the Father and the Son. Says, oh yeah, she's one of mine. You're one of his. Amen. Because we confess him before men. We lift him up before men. That the confession is for us. Amen. And it's also to tell others about him. He says, if you tell others about me, amen, then I'll tell my father about you. I want I want Jesus to be talking about me in the kingdom today. Praise God, telling the Father, Lord, you know, Lord bless her. Lord, Father, we're going to give her favor today. Amen. Amen. Holy Spirit, go give her some instructions on what to do or how to get this work done, how to accomplish this task. Connect her to the right people, the right places at the right time. Woo! Hallelujah. That's my shout, right? Mm. I heard something really good. It's kind of crazy, the presentation, because it was done by a comedian. She said, um, she she said in her little song um, that she don't she doesn't have to shout she makes God moves <laughs> and you know what I'm gonna keep my shout and still keep making God moves <laughs> Hallelujah Amen 
Amen. You know, in walking in the spirit, the power through the, in, in utilizing, amen, and acknowledging the power of confession, the power of speaking the word. Amen. Think about this. Jesus, the word of God says, he says that his words will not fall to the ground. His words will accomplish the task for which he sent it. His words, amen, will transform lives. Praise God. He said, before one, he said, look, I stand, now I love God. I love God. Hallelujah. He said, I stand on my word. Before any one of my words fall to the ground and don't come to pass, he says, every jot and every tittle will come to, will come to pass or this whole earth will pass away because the word, the earth is built on the word of God. God spoke it and the earth was. God spoke it and the sun was and the water was and the winds and the waves were all a result of those two being together. I mean, he connected them with this thing called gravity, you know, and and then he gave us light and he gave us darkness. You know, he gave us animals and, you know, insects. We need to discuss that. Uh, some of them. Amen. But it's all connected by his word. So if one jot or tittle of his word passes away, we in trouble. The whole earth is going to pass away. See, God spoke all of that into being. And then he took that which he had spoken and he made man from it. And he breathed into man the breath of life and man became a living being. The whole world will pass away. The whole substance of what we're made of will pass away. Amen. And we will be the spirit of God. We'll be just the word of God floating. So God is like, we would just be just the breath of God, excuse me, floating. But since God wanted to get, God created all of this and he created a garden and he put man in the midst of the garden. He said, see, if one of my words fall, all of my words fall. That's how powerful his word is. Praise God. Praise ye the Lord. Amen. Our pray, our, our confessions should always contain, amen. Jesus. They should always be founded on the word. And we know that John tells us that in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with God. The, the, word, the word was with God. The same was God. And in verse number 14, it tells us this. It says, and the word was made flesh. And we know that this word that was made flesh is the Lord Jesus Christ. And he dwelt among men. Amen. And he was the light of men. Praise God. Amen. So go with me, if you will, to, um, we're going back to 1 John. That's our book today. Amen. And that's going to be verse 4. Let's see. Chapter 4 and verse 2. <laughs> and it says this, verse 2. It says, whereby we know, um, whereby... Hereby, amen, know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come of God, that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, is God. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. But this is the spirit, you know, it says that's the spirit of Antichrist. Wherefore, we have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. So we, I would just want to stick with part A there. It says that if we confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, then we are of God. See, the power of walking in the spirit is this. Amen. Is that when we confess all along, all the way that Jesus Christ, amen, is our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ came in the flesh. Jesus Christ died on Calvary. I mean, he took on the sins of man and on the sins of mankind. I mean, Jesus Christ was resurrected. Jesus Christ has gone away to prepare a place for us that where he is there, we may be also. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Amen. For those who are the believers in him. I mean, Jesus Christ is going to reward us. Jesus Christ is going to, is the Lamb of God. Amen. Who was slain from the foundation of the world. Jesus Christ, praise God. Amen. Is going to take a bride. That bride is. Is the, he's preparing the church, amen, which each one of us, amen, as believers. And if you want to be a believer, believe in your heart, confess with your mouth, receive Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. And each one of us, amen, will be, 
Amen. The Mrs. Lord Jesus Christ. I know people say um, different people have different levels of understanding, I would say, about the bride of Christ. But the word of God says that he's preparing for himself a bride. A bride is not a brick and mortar city or even a diamond and gold city. Amen. It's a people. That's why he created mankind so that he could dwell with us so that we could dwell with him for an eternity. Amen. So the bride could be his. He says that he's coming back for the church. He's coming back for us. Amen. And we are the bride of Christ. It says that he's preparing us through the washing of the waters of the word. Amen. Through the washing spirit water, the spirit of the word of God, the word. Amen. So we must walk in the spirit. Amen. And confess the word. Praise God. Prayer is not getting answered. Get some scriptures and begin to confess those scriptures over over what you're believing God for. Amen. Even the scripture that says, Lord, I know this looks bleak, but you said you would not let me be put to shame. I'm trusting you. Amen. I'm trusting you. And God is honored when we're trusting him. God, don't don't you feel good when someone puts their confidence in you and says, amen, we are the bride of Christ. You're right. Amen. That said, that puts um they're trusting you and they says, I'm trusting you. You got my trust on this. And you know you can accomplish that task. And you go and you pursue that task. And you come back and deliver. Amen. And when they come and check, you have delivered. Amen. That's the way the Father, the Father loves for us to trust him. Amen. He said, prove ye me. Prove ye me. Show me. Amen. Make, make me show you. And he does it every time. And he accomplishes everything that's written in his word. All he has to do is speak the word, and it happens. Amen. It's up to us. Praise the Lord. Welcome. Welcome. We believe in Jesus here. We preach Jesus Christ, the resurrected Christ, and the glory of his a powerful and life-changing word. We're talking about confession and the power of the spoken word. Amen. From each one of us, watching God manifest his powerful blessings in our lives. Well, guys, we're down to 29, so I just want to, we're going to hit one more scripture. And um, let's do this, Philippians 2 and 11. <clears throat> mm. Oh, I love this. Let's go with 210 and then 11. Amen. This. It says that at the name of G. Oh, no, no, no. We got to go with nine. We can't start before nine. Amen. He says this. He says that at the name. Oh, sorry. Verse nine. Wherefore, God hath also highly exalted him. Speaking of Jesus. Amen. And given him a name which is above every name. Praise the Lord. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow unto the, of the things in heaven of the things in the earth and of the things under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. To the glory of God the Father. Now as we talk about walking in the Spirit. Amen. Amen. When we walk in the Spirit we know that we will fulfill the purposes of God. When we walk in the Spirit we know that the Father will acknowledge us. Amen. When we walk in the Spirit we do know that we will not be made ashamed. When we walk in the Spirit we know this that God will complete that which he sent his word to do. Amen. We have the power of confession. When we walk in the Spirit Jesus has our back. He's representing us in the kingdom before the Father. Amen. So and I mean there's so 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 much more but walking in the Spirit and you'll fulfill the purposes of God. The Father will acknowledge you. Jesus has your back. Amen. You will not be put to shame. He's on you. He's on your team. Praise God. Or we're on his team better yet. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, I love you today. What a friend we have in Jesus. Amen. What a blessing we have in Jesus. I want you to share this with someone else. If you've been blessed by the word today, just go ahead and hit that share button. Hit the like. Give us some hearts. Praise the Lord. And then join us back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. 
take some good listen to this again if you want to amen that's why it's here on the inter, on the internet amen you can listen to it as many times as you want and let the spirit of god speak to you let him touch your heart and transform your mind and your life and know that when we are in god when we are walking in the spirit we will not be put to shame but the things that god purposes will be accomplished god bless you thank you so much for joining thank you thank you thank you and thank you once again god bless everyone Thank you. Bless you. Amen. What a friend we have. And you stream. You stream. We have been together for a while. You were my first broadcast platform. Welcome. <laughs>